Hello, I'm Qiang Wu with the product marketing team for signal processing and communications in MathWorks. This presentation will introduce a Symlink model for a wireless network with radio transceivers and radio channels between them. Most wireless applications are interconnections through a network. According to the Open Systems Interconnection Model, the OSI model, a wireless network has seven layers in its vertical structure. In this Simulink model, we focused on the modeling of the first two OSI layers, physical layer and the data link layer. The physical layer defines the baseband processing of the radio transceiver. The data link layer mainly provides the media access control function, which is also called the MAC layer with logical link control function. This is the top level of the wireless network model. The three transceivers are interconnected by radio feeding channels. Each radio node can transmit and receive signals to and from the other node. This topology of the network can be extended to a network with a larger number of radios. Before we talk the model, let's look at the signal frame format used in modeling this network. The signal format has a common structure for wireless networks. It has three essential parts, the physical header, the MAC header, and the payload. The signal frame can be a data frame for content delivery and an acknowledgement frame for access control. For simplicity, the modulation used in this network is QPSK at the rate of 20 megabit per second. Here is the top level of the radio transceiver node. The transmitter, the TXRX switch, and the receiver form the physical layer. The MAC layer and the logical link control function compose the data link layer. Since the same radio band is used for TX and RX, the MAC function employed here are CSMACA and ALOHA, which is also called random backoff. We now look at the transmitter in the radio node. Based on the channel status, the MAC layer sends a control signal to this TX block to transmit either a data frame or an acknowledgement frame. The frame contents are loaded in the lookup tables. The contents can be changed in the workspace. The output of this block is complex baseband IQ signal. Now we introduce the receiver modeling. It consists of the signal detector the decision feedback equalizer, the demodulator with cyclic redundancy checks. This receiver provides the function of signal detection, channel equalization, symbol synchronization, and the header payload CRCs. Also, this receiver can compensate certain carry frequency offset. This block sends out the status of received frame to the MAC layer and the bit stream of the received data. The details of the receiver can be found in the model file provided at the end of this presentation. After introducing the file layer, we now look at the data link layer. The first block of the data link layer is the logic control function. This function randomly generates the arriving times of data frames and the number of segments of each frame. It also controls the retransmission of a segment failed in delivery. A retry can be stopped when the retry limit is reached. The MAC layer implemented here has two selectable MAC functions. We only talk about CSMACA here. As shown on the figure, any node before transmitting it must make sure the RF media has been quiet for a period of diff's time. Then the node enters the random backoff. Once its backoff counter goes to zero, the node starts transmitting. Once the receiving node received the data frame correctly, it sends the ACK frame back within the safe time. This mechanism continues until all the data frame in the transmitting node are sent out. Then all nodes go back to the silent period of diffs to start a new contention window. 
This is also the mechanism used in AO2.11 Mac. As shown in the Mac state flow chart, there are three functional blocks, Tx of ACK frame, contention window and back off, and Tx of data frame. The input of this block are from the file layer and the logical link control block. The MAC output signal controls the transmitter for sending data or ACK frames in a regulated order. This chart also shows the simplicity of using state flow chart to model the intelligence of a MAC layer. We now look at the simulation result of this wireless network. The channels are modeled by relay fading with Doppler frequency spreading of 50 Hz and the signal to noise ratio of 25 dB. The three plots from the top are the TX waveforms from the three nodes, and the fourth plot is the value of back off counter of node 1. The last three plots from the bottom are the received signal strengths of the three nodes. The signal with wider duration is a data frame, and the one with narrow duration is the act frame. As shown in the plots, there are 70 data frames are transmitted from the nodes, and there is only one collision. This shows the efficiency of the MAC layer and the dynamic behavior of a multi-node wireless network. As the summary, in this presentation, we provided a model-based design approach for modeling a wireless network. Its file layer has the basic functions of generic phi and the MAC layer provides the selectable CSMACA or Aloha MAC functions. With this model, we can study various behavior of Phi and MAC, as well as the interaction between them. Also, with the use of MathWorks Fixed Point Tool and HDL Coder, this model can facilitate the HDL implementation and the SDR prototyping. You can download the technical paper and the Simulink model file from this link. Thank you for watching.